Let's try this one more time. Good evening, everyone. All right. Uh, welcome to the Cradle of Aviation Museum and the Catholic Health Sky Theater Planetarium. My name's Andy Parton. I'm president of the Cradle. And we're... Thank you, thank you. And I haven't even had a drink yet. So, uh, but we're happy to have you here with us tonight. Um, and before we begin, I'd like to recognize our board of trustees who are here tonight and ask them to stand. We, we had our uh, quarterly board meeting before this, and we have found that when there's alcohol at the end of stuff, board members show up. <laughs> Full board, all the way through. Not, not true, not true. Uh, but we want to thank them for being here with us and supporting the museum over the years because it's been a great partnership between the staff and the Board of Trustees. Uh, I'd also like to recognize uh, Nassau County Controller Elaine Phillips is here. A supporter of the museum over the years. Uh, we want to thank our friends at Catholic Health for the generous support of the Sky Theater Planetarium. And I see that Christine Hendrick is here. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with Catholic Health with a new film coming in April or May uh, about the human body. And so that will be something else that uh, we'll be celebrating soon. So tonight, uh, we're here to celebrate the opening of our new film and exhibit, Cities of the Future. And we're thrilled to welcome our new partner, the Hoglin Group, for their support of not only the film and exhibit, but of an also a new workforce development program. We're working on to train graduating high school students to become FAA certified drone pilots. So it's an exciting program. And I'd like to thank, in particular, Billy Hoglund, CEO of Hoglund, uh, and all the Hoglund team for everything they do. If you don't know about them, they're not just building our cities, but they're building our community in the future. So this is a perfect fit uh, with what all this work that Hoglund does and what this film and the exhibit will be doing. So, Billy, thank you very much for your support. So, um, for a number of years pre-COVID, we focused our energies on celebrating the Apollo program and how Long Islanders took us to the moon. And while we will always honor our rich past in aerospace history, we have embarked on a different path. One that we hope continues to make the cradle a relevant educational tool, as well as a fun place to visit. We call it The Future Is Now. Our first two exhibits focused on flying cars and drones, and the role they not only will play in the future, but the role they play today. Our new exhibit serves as a companion to the film, and it's called Engineering the Future. Like the film you're about to see, it's a look at literally what cities may look like 50 years from now. I need to special thanks go to our creative director, Rod Lennart, who worked tirelessly on this. So a big round of applause for Rod. Where is Rod? He's way up there, still hiding. But uh, Rod was really the one who put this all together in a very brief period of time. So this is an in-house effort. Uh, and I think you'll see the results are phenomenal. Um, the neat thing about this exhibit is that it will continue to evolve over time. What you see in there now, we may be adding stuff over the course of the next year or two. Uh, because things are changing and there's a lot of great new technologies coming out that we want to highlight and utilize in the exhibit. Our hope is that elementary and middle school students will get excited about the possibilities the future may hold and they'll want to get involved in designing the cities of the future. I mean, think about it. Your kids or your grandkids could be leading designers of how we live and play in the future. Uh, we're talking 2070 is what this film will talk a little bit about. Um, so, so a long ways away, and we may not all be here to enjoy it, but we'll enjoy all the, the stuff that leads into it. Um, now, we're often asked, where do these great ideas and inventions come from? Um, you know, what's the inspiration? Is it like H.G. Wells that you read as a kid? Is it Star Trek or Star Wars? Well, we did a great deal of research, and uh, we know that what most of the new innovations of the last 50 years 
came from one source. So we're going to show you a little clip of that that we found in the archives. Um, and uh, then we'll see the movie right after that. So enjoy this clip. It's only about a minute. Famous Colgate Dental Cream with activated Gardol. Brushing after eating with Colgate helps stop bad breath, helps fight decay. <laughs> Does anybody know what Gardol is? <laughs> that I haven't figured out. But, you know, I mean, you laugh at it, but, you know, um, think about what we have today. Robots, who clean the carpet, called Zumbas or Roombas. Cell phones, flying cars. The one I still have a problem with, if you remember uh, the Jetsons, is the, the dog on the treadmill. I mean, it's great that the dog is getting the exercise, but I still don't know how they handle the other stuff that goes along with that. But anyway, we hope you enjoy the film and that you'll join us afterwards for some food and drink um, as we explore the new exhibits. So please enjoy Cities of the Future.